Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Avery, and today I'm going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in July. In July, I didn't really download all that many ebooks. There wasn't really anything that caught my eye, and I only ever really download free stuff or stuff on Kindle Limited. And so, since I didn't really download all that many books this month, I'm going to also include the books that I got off of Kindle Unlimited, which I don't normally do, but. I'm gonna do it anyway in this video. <laughs> the first book that I have is Ignite by Kate Benson. This is on Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $3.99. This is a friends to lovers romance. This is about Addie and Zeke. They have been best friends their entire life. So at the beginning of this book, Zeke returns home uh, for the summer after his first year away at college and their time apart forced them to see each other in a new light. So when he comes back home, lines are crossed between the two of them and the relationship they fought so hard to protect ended up paying the ultimate price. Then fate brings them back together two years later and um, they're wondering if this is a second chance for them or not. Then I have The Duchess and the Cowboy by Deborah Erfurt. <laughs> um, this is still available to download for free. This is a romance between a British duchess and she is fleeing from uh, her husband's murderer. And this is a romance between her and an American widowed cowboy with a daughter. So our heroine ends up fleeing England, comes to America, and she comes across Mr. Bellamy, who is the hero of the story. He ended up losing his wife shortly after his daughter was born. Um, and I think the heroine ends up purchasing land next to his and then become neighbors and it turns into a love story between the two of them. Then I have Liar by Fiona Cole. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $4.99. This is a romance between our heroine and her uncle's friend and this is an age gap as well. They are, I think, at the club that you read about in the first book, Voyeur, and they end up getting together one night, I'm pretty sure, like in the dark, and she never expected to see him two years later sitting across from her during a family dinner. He is now encouraging her to um, do her internship at his business. And they both agree that they shouldn't repeat what happened at this club, but then they start being in close vicinity with one another at this job, and it turns into a relationship, I guess. Then I have Bad Boy Blues by Saffron A. Kent. This is not free anymore, um, but you could purchase this for $4.99. This is a hate to love romance between Cleopatra and Zachariah. And in grade school, he used to pull her pigtails. And in middle school, he spread false rumors about her. And in high school, he ruined her prom. She basically knows that this guy is very attractive, but he's basically like ruined her life and she wants to stay away from him for as long as possible. Like she doesn't want any, any affiliation with him at all. But unfortunately, they live in the same house and mansion together. Only he is the prince and she is the lowly maid that serves him. So I guess she's one of the maids that lives in the house that she's in, that he's in. So that sounds very interesting to me. Then I have Charcoal Notes by Grace Harper. This is still available to download for free. The tagline that hooked me was ultimate friends to lovers romance. And I just downloaded it right then and there. This is about Sebastian and Tara. Sebastian is a musical artist, I'm pretty sure. And Tara is their, is their, his band's new like marketing person. Sebastian immediately is taken with her, but Tara doesn't see him any more than a friend because she knows that he like sleeps around and she doesn't like make her feelings go past that point, past friendship. And she basically has this rule to date, marry, and then you are with your partner, um, like intimately, which is quite interesting. I'm very interested in reading about this and seeing if like that will actually happen because that's personally what I want in a relationship. And so I wanna see if this book actually holds true to her like beliefs. If it doesn't, that's okay. I might not love it as much, but it is what it is because I'm kind of like expecting that, you know? Then I have The Price for Peace by W.J. May. This is still available to download for free. This is about 16 year old Elsie who's ripped from her home and taken to the Royal Palace as a permanent guest. And at this point, she thinks her life is over. Little does she know, it has only begun. Um, after befriending a group of other captives, including the headstrong Will, Elise finds herself swept away to a world she knew never existed, polished, sculpted, and refined until she can hardly recognize her own reflection. Uh, she could be happy to have escaped the poverty of her former life, but she knows a dark truth. 
The palace is a dream on the surface, but a nightmare underneath. With a dwindling population, the royals have imprisoned the teenagers to marry and breed. Only seven days remain of freedom before they will be selected by a courtier and be claimed forever. Danger lurks around every corner. The only chance of escape is death. But when the day of the claiming finally arrives, the world will never be the same. That sounds bizarre. Like bizarre, crazy, excited to read this. <laughs> that I Have Claimed by E.M. Brown. This is a dark mafia romance. This is still available to download for free. Note to self, don't fall in love with a gangster. This is about a college student and she studies hard, wants to do good, and plays by the rules. She should not be falling for a guy like Darren Lee, the bad boy owner of an exclusive nightclub that caters to an international triad. They're absolutely wrong for one another. Maybe that's why the heat between them is so sizzling hot. But Darren's desires are dark and wicked. She's wondering if she should submit to his passions. Something tells her that if she throws caution to the wind, she could be in a world of hurt. Then I have Shadow Magic by Stephanie Julian. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for free still? Wait, nope, it's still free. So <laughs> this is a bind up of two um, fantasy romances, I think. The first one is about Marcus and it says that he knows there are things in this world that defy explanation and he's going to prove the existence of magic. He just never expected to find everything that he was looking for under his bed. Arya is beautiful, unclothed, and has pink wings. He woke up one night to find her in bed with him. He thinks he must be dreaming, right? But he's not. <laughs> but now Arya has some seriously bad characters chasing her. And of course, he's going to protect her or die trying. That's the first story. And then the second one is about Tonio. And um, he has been hired to guard Nora Johnson's luscious body from harm. Uh, turns out she's the daughter of a god. Yes, an actual ancient god. That makes her powerful and valuable, but he only sees the woman he's falling for. She's not supposed to know he's watching out for her, protecting her. But after days of shadowing her every move, he's the one who might need saving. If she discovers his secrets, he's afraid she'll leave and never look back. That sounded good. I think both of them are gonna be pretty hot. So I'm excited. <laughs> then I have Rush, a reverse harem romance by Lane Hart. This book is still available to download for free. This is about college football star, Graham Lawson. He's given one last Hail Mary chance to pull up his GPA or lose his spot on the team. He turns to the sweet but shy bookworm from his hometown, the girl who saved his butt back in high school. Um, Skylar Sutton is beyond stunned when her longtime crush asks her to come stay with him for the entire summer. She's even more surprised when Graham's two incredibly hot, fun, loving roommates decide to educate her with a lifetime firsts she'll never forget. I'm already intrigued, y'all. That intrigues me. <laughs> Charlie and Tyson show Skylar's friendship, compassion, and love that has no limits. They even try to protect her from having her heart broken when they convince Playboy Graham to keep his hands off of his little tutor. But can two amazing guys really replace the one man who Skylar would give anything to be with? After Graham caves and can no longer resist Sky, will she have to choose between her unconventional relationship with Charlie and Tyson, or will Graham decide to team up with his roommates to give Sky everything she's ever dreamed of and more? Then I have the three books that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited. The first one is Ambushed by Her Alien Mate. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for uh, $2.99. This is the second book, a part of the planet of Tadali series, alien romance series where human women crash land on this alien planet. And each book is about a woman falling for an alien. Um, so I haven't read book two yet, so I downloaded this book, book two. And the next is book two, a part of the Between Dawn and Dusk series, which is The Fake King's Dream. This is also available on Kindle Unlimited, or you can register it for uh, $2.99. This is a fae romance series dealing with mates. The hero is blind until he finds his fate of mate. So it's about him finding his mate with a heroine who is in a coma. And yeah, and he can dream hop. Like that's his powers as a fae. He like can go into people's dreams, which is pretty cool. The last book that I downloaded is Fire in Her Dreams by Ruby Dixon. This is book number nine, a part of the Fire Blood Dragon series. I'm currently reading this one. I'm almost done with it. Uh, this is just a dragon shifter series. And each book is kind of like the same a little bit, um, but I love the series. I think they're highly entertaining. Um, and so yeah, a human woman falls for a dragon shifter man. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I ended up downloading last month. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.